This is gonna be good. Batch got his package. Where'd you find the sun? Well, remember when you sent me pictures of your dog? Yeah. Yeah, well, those are pictures of your dog. You got the maid? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's good, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really good. I just said. Can you hear him now? Can you hear me? Yeah, she can't hear him. She can't uh, wear him, she said. Oh. Because <laughs> she knows they're bad. I said, I don't know, Al. They look pretty damn cool. <laughs> Those are cool. Yeah. Yeah, just a little thank you. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I never would have thought that. I'll see that. She's just, that looks just like Patch. Yeah, that sure is Patch. Hello again from Tucson. I think in the last video I said Mojo was taken off. Well, it rained a few days and they are back. So remember, guys, if anybody needs a custom sticker, custom website, or some Facebook marketing, hit up Mojo Bus. Keep them on the road. We just can't stay away from you. <laughs> <laughs> that too. And also, Renee got a job, but. I know. She's a licensed acupuncturist, so uh, they will be in the area for uh, springtime, it looks like. Now, I didn't show the progress because, you know, I feel like the progress of this, after so long, I kind of, um, no offense, I get a little bored of, like, turning this thing on, and I also, I think I misplaced the uh, memory card. <laughs> so we haven't had those musical working shots lately and uh, I've been okay with that because uh, I would like to uh, vary the uh, content from time to time um, so we have one layer of poly acrylic on the ceiling we're gonna put a second layer we're gonna take a scotch bright pad the ones that you find in the painting area we're gonna scuff it up and we're gonna put another coat on side note do you ever lose your sunglasses? Because I know I do. So, you know, the funny thing I did was, you know when you get those cheap sunglasses from the store that are like 12 bucks? I found them wholesale. <laughs> so I bought a dozen of them, and they're only like five bucks each, so. Yeah, so I don't have a link for these things. They're just online someplace. Also, the fuel gauge previously was not working. Let's just give it another try here and uh, verify. So I don't know if I bought another one. I'm not sure if it's the gauge or if it's something else. Yeah, it's not reading it. So I'm gonna quickly pop this in and see if I can fix that. All right, let's check and see if this works. Still doesn't work. Here's the update. We're gonna work on the walls. These ones, look at how beautiful all these wires are. Look at, I mean, you guys just love seeing these things. I know there's a couple people who are obsessed with my wires. I have to apologize. We're gonna put them away. Because we got the, uh, we got the wire chases all sealed up. Um, this is not sticky anymore. Wow, look at the finish. This is dry, dude. This is dry. That is a cool finish. I don't know if you guys can see the reflecting here we go there's some of that reflection this is gonna look amazing for pictures um, coat number two we got the, the same thing done in there I'm gonna touch up some things here but the most exciting part about this whole rant is that tomorrow I'm gonna be going down to the transmission place and we're gonna film the teardown of the transmission uh, so that's great because then over once the weekend after the weekend we are gonna um, rebuild and then install the transmission on the bus so two thumbs up for that well there's second one all right look at this sheen look at the shine that's just one coat of the polycrylic um, I think it is uh, a little bit different because there's already a layer of paint on there wow that's smooth um, and this matches up well with the walls. And if it's slightly off, oh well.
All right, so we're going to wrap up for today, but not for the video. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to go off and I'm going to film the teardown. That's going to be a whole separate video, uh, teardown and rebuild. I don't know if they're going to be separate. They should be separate. They're going to be separate. Just threw that out. Justin's going to be here, and I think he's going to play with some of the trim. I need to go to the store to get more paint, um, and then come back and drop it off. And then he's going to be helping me out while I'm gone for a few hours tomorrow. I'm so grateful to Justin and Wonder Boom and Badge and Reed and Mike and Steve and the whole Magnificent Seven and everybody who's helped me out with this thing um, because I'm going to film, you know, just for example, I'm going to film something tomorrow, part of the transmission part, and I have wonderful friends who are just going to stay behind and just keep on working. I don't know what I did to uh, deserve such amazing friends, but... I'm happy to have them. So um, let's pick up once I get back here tomorrow afternoon. All right, good morning. I don't know if this is a new video or not. So good morning from Tucson, uh, yet again. Um, I think today we're gonna wrap up the wires, um, put in the uh, cedar back here, put in some trim. Still got the floor to do. That will be go going in shortly. There's Renee of the famous Mojo Bus. I'm like, I can't get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Oh, yeah. Um, we got this little deal. I got another uh, light ordered, but uh, I installed this last night. Looks great, I think. Works great. Got the other one over here. Um, so this bus is a lot different from the last bus, looks-wise. It's not a... Uh, Reclaimed man cave. This is a more sophisticated, you know, I don't even know, but a little bit more sophisticated place. <laughs> Reminds you of a hotel, kind of like a, you know, cute, fancy hotel. Uh, I tried to work on the armrests last night, uh, and I failed. Uh, I need to get more epoxy, and it takes 48 hours, so there's no way I was going to do it last night and bring it over here to be able to put up the side part. So maybe we'll just kind of um, temporarily put that up. I don't even know why, but maybe we'll just temporarily put that up and kind of guesstimate how far up it should go. Uh, and then of course I could readjust, you know, if we just put like two screws in or something, you know, just to hold it. Because we might be working on, you know, I need to build some kind of a box for this. That would be a major accomplishment today. I need to figure out if we need to cut those, need to figure out what's going on on this other side as well. So perhaps that's what we will do today. Only time will tell. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider uh, subscribing because that's how we all build this channel together. See this um, 12 volt power thing? I don't know what they're called, um, but uh, I ordered a bigger one. This one holds six. I got one that holds 12. We doubled up on a lot of wires. I added one for the backup camera yesterday. We got that working. This is my fridge. Uh, I just wanted to have a dedicated space. Uh, who knows what I'll add in the future. So I'm getting one twice as big. All right, fast forward a couple hours and it looks like we got ourselves a new box here. And uh, this is gonna, yeah, dude. Uh, it's right here. It, yeah, bit. just chip it out a little bit yeah, or I'll something. Just... Or is it just the way it, that box is? Yeah, I have to chip it out. Yeah, it's all right. Cool, so we got ourselves a new box. The top part's gonna go in line with the rest of that, you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> which we're, um, the white part is gonna continue to here, and then what I guess I could do is cut a small piece to hide the reason that this is level is so the LEDs could go across. Like I said, we're really roughing it here. Just trying to get the basics of living in a vehicle. <laughs> um, kidding, obviously. But yeah, we're going to uh, match this up with the top of that so the lights continue on. And then hide it. You know, maybe trim down one of these things and have a little hidden area up there. So who knows? But that's just to hide that air door piston. Um, also, I... I'm working on a door for that. So thanks to Justin and Renee, 
I am an edge banding bandit. Uh, my, my little cute door is right there on the floor outside on the ground and I'm gonna prime that and paint it up and get it ready for install. This is goodbye part two on camera. My beautiful Mojo Bus family is leaving me. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs> oh here, let's check out what Justin made also since we're here. This hides the air thing, piston. The air piston, I don't know, that's a good word for it. The air piston is this. It goes or without my sound effects. Pretty good. Anyway, so uh, we got the box done. We're gonna mount it here. Removable screws in case I need to adjust something. This piece is done. Like I said, the armrest, that's gonna take 48 hours to dry. I'll work on, it, on that this week. That's all in. This thing is not working. Um, what else, what else, what else? We cut this piece somewhere. So it's nice and, uh, right here, nice and clean. Stops about right there or something. What else did we work on? I removed tape from the polyacrylic and reapplied tape for the rest of the cabinet paint. I will be adding more paint and I'll be painting this wood here to match the rest of the cabinet paint. And what else? I gotta paint this again. I got a few things to do. Install two fans with switches. Got a nice uh, piece of wood to go across that ugly back door. Um, made a door for this today. Just gotta find some hinges and a little snap push deal. Snap push deal is the scientific word for that. <laughs> Name for it. Actually, I think right here. I got it right here. A snap push deal. Also known as a double roller catch C with C clasp stat statuary bronze. Statuary bronze. Okay, what else? Anyways, as you can see, we're just chipping away at stuff. Excuse me. We're just chipping away at stuff. Uh, making progress. So, uh, hopefully, we'll get this thing back on the road here soon. In a couple real days' time. Transmission rebuild starts. That's super exciting. Then in the front, we can continue on with all the floors. Mm -hmm.